So now that we've created our attribute, we're going to want to create our attribute set. And this attribute set is going to be for hats. So we had our hat style. And what other things might go into an attribute set for hats? You might have to think color, perhaps size, if that's a, something maybe. Let's actually go into creating an attribute set and we'll see what attributes exist that could apply to hats. So let's go to catalog, attributes, and then manage attribute sets. From here, we just need to click add new attribute set. Its name will be hats. And it's not going to be based on anything, so we're going to base it off of default. Let's click Save Attribute Set. Basing it off of another attribute set is a quick way to create multiple attribute sets that are very similar. They would have the same attributes when you start, however, then you could then modify it. That way, if you had products that were very similar, you could create an attribute set based off of another one without having to drag over all of the unassigned attributes that apply to both of them. So here you'll notice something about this page. We have our edit attribute set name. You can change the name if you like. We have our groups and we have our unassigned attributes. So in our groups is where our attributes live. And you can click and drag and you notice this is going to change the order. And this order is the order that's displayed on the product page when creating a product. Now you can put your attributes in any of these categories. However, I'm going to click this minimize on prices, meta information, images, description, design, and reoccurring profile and gift options, and just have general open because I'm going to apply all of our attributes to the general area. Of course, you can create a new group if you'd like that was just attributes or something to put your attributes in. So we have general here. So the first attribute we would like to add would be hat style. So if we scroll down, it's at the very bottom here, we can just drop this in here. And notice this attribute set already has color and manufacturer. So what else could we possibly need? We might want to think about size. However, size isn't in here yet. There's something like shoe size. So we would have to create another attribute just for size itself, maybe a hat size. However, for this particular example, we'll just leave it off for now. So our heads can have a color and a style. Is there anything else here that would apply? It doesn't look like it. So we can click Save Attribute Set. And this is going to save this attribute set. Now, whenever we create a product of this attribute set, we'll see that drop down that allows you to select the hat style as well as the color. So in the next section, we're going to go into creating products. And creating products will start to fill your store with your own custom products. And then you can get creating your own attribute sets, your own attributes. And you really get to see it in action as this hat section of our site gets populated with products.